Rampant News Podcast. We start with our first story. Caitlyn Jenner says the transgender community is growing at a disturbing rate. Also growing at a disturbing rate, Jenner added, these big freaking huge tits of mine. You know, that would be that would be a little disturbing, I guess. Wake up one day and just have giant just have a normal man's chest and then, you know, now you've got tits. That'd be a weird thing to wake up. Every now and then you would forget you would forget that you did it. And you would wake up and you'd be like, Jesus Christ, it feels like I got some fucking uh, some tits on my fucking chest. Oh my god, I've got tits on my chest. Oh my god. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Anyway. I don't know. I mean, has a has a trans ever just got like the biggest tits of all time? Just like broke a record? You know, everybody's talking about like power lifters and swimmers crossing over and destroying in, in women's competitions. Why can't we, you know, bring home the gold of the tits? Why can't we bring home gold tits is all I'm trying to say, fellas. Bring home the gold tits. You know, that would be that would be a nice one to have on the old mantle. Moving on, experts say mummies can help us estimate the climate in ancient Egypt. They estimate it was hot as the mummies are all wearing wraparound oakleys and thongs. No, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true one bit. Why do we need to estimate the climate in ancient ancient Egypt anyway? What's the point? Tell me what it's gonna be like tomorrow. That's what we got to, yeah, hey, listen, if you ask me, that's what we got to figure out. These weathermen, goddamn guessing for a living. Moving on, Martha Stewart at 81 is the oldest person to ever be on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. The picture is blurry because the first photographer kept violently throwing up while taking the picture. They replaced him, but the second photographer kept orgasming while he was taking the picture. Which was equally, if not more, disturbing. Yeah, it's no good. Why Why we got Martha Stewart? Don't let Martha Stewart be a grandma. That's how we've kind of always seen her, right? Was Martha Stewart ever like a mom age? Or since she's been famous, she's just been an old lady. I like to, you know, I don't know. I've got nothing against Martha Stewart whatsoever. Nothing against her. But she don't need to be on the cover. I've never really been a, a Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition guy either. I mean, just go to the beach. It's the same thing. Just go to the beach. I guess. I guess if you don't want to, like, you know, you, you can't ogle ladies. Oogle and ogle ladies. Of course, that's rude. But, you know, you're passing by and you tip your hat to them and you say, Ma'am, nice tits you got there. Yeah, that's the same. That's the same thing. Nothing. Spe- All I'm trying to say is nothing spectacular, and certain no- certainly nothing spectacular this month. Go ahead and skip this month's version. Is it every year or every month? I feel like it's always making news, but maybe that's other cover, uh, other uh, yeah, other magazine covers. I kind of just lump all magazines into one because nobody fucking gives a shit. Moving on, the founder of Starlux Airlines may be fined after he let an influencer take a selfie in his cockpit, which sounds benign until you see the picture, and by cockpit, they mean a deep and wide hole filled with thousands of very small penises. That's what they mean by cockpit. So again, it wasn't so much the selfie, it was the cockpit itself that was disturbing to people. So he might be fine. I think he, I believe he released a pol- an apology about the cockpit. Moving on, in 2016, Stephen Hawking said he believed humans only have 1,000 years left on Earth. Well, his bitch ass, on the other hand, only had two years left. I refuse to take advice from anyone who looks like the human version of a blobfish. No, no, no. You don't get to say anything. You don't get to be a part of this conversation. You can't be a part of a conversation unless you can talk. That's rule number one. 
By the way, blobfish is that's a it's a real thing. I was trying. I looked up uh, fish that look like Stephen Hawking because I was trying. He kind of looks like a like a shriveled up fish. He looks like something that would be at the bottom of the ocean, with like one of those little lanterns that are you know that they have. You know the the fish with the lanterns, kind of like that, except for like a, I guess a paralyzed version of that. So I looked it up and I got blobfish, and it's pretty close. I could see it. There's a there's a you know passing resemblance. Stephen Hawking made a lot of crazy claims for a guy that was a computer. Moving on, a new study reveals humans have been romantically kissing for forty five hundred years. It also showed they've been romantically titty-fucking for about 200 years. The titty-fuck was invented by Sir Robert Penichol in the year 1821. He was walking to his friend uh, Sir Peter's house to talk about how they both loved shiny nickels and hopscotch. When he slipped on a banana peel and his penis went directly between a woman's busty bosom. It was high noon, so naturally his penis was erect and he commenced to titty-fucking. To completion. His invention, however, was overshadowed as the same day the tall hat was invented. As a result, his incredible accomplishment was never properly honored. That's too bad about old Sir Robert Penichol. That's very that's sad. You know, you do something, you do something to move the human race forward, and it just goes unnoticed. Moving on, Iranians are putting their livers, corneas, and testicles up for sale on Telegram to pay off their debts amid rocketing inflation and poverty. But buyers beware. With all this inflation, they're practically charging an arm and a leg for these things. That sucks. I mean, livers, corneas, is corneas, is that part of the eye? Livers, can't you have just one liver? I mean, that's kind of a no-brainer, right? I bet that's a high-dollar item. But testicles. Who's buying testicles? I don't think that you can just, like, put somebody else's testicles in your body and then they work. I highly doubt that. If your testicles are somebody else's and they work, are you creating their that person's semen? What's going on down there? I have no idea how testicles work. But I, you know, I'm realizing that like right now, I don't know how they work. I just know I got to protect those guys down there. I got to make sure that those guys are good and protected. That's all I know about my testicles. But if somebody else's balls were jangling around down there, for one, you just really wouldn't feel like a man. But, you know, if you're carrying, literally carrying around somebody else's balls, that might be get you're part of the LGBTQ community at that point, which is fine, but just know that you're now a part of that community. Anyway, enough about selling body parts. Moving on. A teen refuses to learn sign language to communicate with her deaf stepsister. A lot of people are upset with her, but the stepsister is evil. To signify she's hungry, she smears shit on her face which wouldn't personally bother me, except technically she's doing blackface. Having said that, I hope that racist deaf bitch dies. You know, I mean, I don't know. You don't. You don't have to learn sign language. It's, it's obviously stupid. You know, I mean, I guess it's the next best thing. But you know, why on earth would I learn? Why on earth would I learn sign language? That's. I feel like it would be so hard to learn sign language unless you were like born with it. You know, be incredibly hard. I wonder if uh, like new sign language people, it's like the same thing as like a person learning a language for the first time and they have like an accent where it's like, oh my God, if, do, you, do you see the way he curls his fingers when he's, uh, you know, when he's talking about his poops? When he's talking about his poops, the way he curls his fingers is so fucking dumb. Although they would be, obviously they can't say that. I guess they could say it, but it wouldn't wouldn't matter. I mean, you would think that just like lip reading might be the best, right? Lip reading with a little bit of, I think that's actually kind of how they do. They do a little bit of lip, lip reading. 
Anyway, moving on, YouTuber Trevor Jacob intentionally crashed a plane for views and is now facing jail time. The crime? Culturally appropriating Japanese suicide bombers. If there's one thing I hate, it's cultural appropriation of any kind. You know, I've always said that the the terrorists of 9-11 should have paid tribute to the Japanese suicide bombers of Pearl Harbor. They clearly stole that idea from the Japanese. And nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody's ready to have that conversation. I think it's despicable. I mean, that's their culture, their heritage, and they are allowed to have it. Nobody should take that away from them. Moving on. King Charles has reportedly no power to remove Prince Andrew from the Royal Lodge. He can, however, remove the preschool that Prince Andrew is running out of the dining room. Andrew, you know we use the dining room to pass gas and gossip. Get your young lovers out of here. Prince Andrew, he's a, uh, he's a pedophile. He's a goddamn pedophile. I mean, I feel like that's the thing that you can kick anybody out of a house. I don't care if it's a royal lodge or a shack. You're allowed to kick somebody out if they're a pedophile. Them's the rules, okay? I don't care if you're a prince or a king or whatever. You can kick, you can kick them right out. You can say, get the heck out of here. Moving on, researchers found 300,000-year-old footsteps in Germany this week. They were very small, suggesting they had very tiny penises, probably why 299,920 years later they killed all those Jews. That's probably why. Small penises. I have no idea how they figure out that it's 300,000 years old. Are they guessing? Could it very easily be 250,000 years old? You know, could they be... Uh, could they be 2,000 years old? Could they be 500,000 years old? Could they be a million year, a million years old? Because if you're doing 300,000, you might as well do a million. It's the same ballpark as far as footsteps go. You know? It's an area that hasn't been touched in 300,000 years. You know what? I just I highly doubt. I fucking, I'm calling bullshit on that. I don't try, I don't, I can't, you know, I, I don't trust the Germans as far as I can throw their fucking country. Moving on, Simon of Simon and Garfunkel has lost his hearing. When asked about the sudden loss of hearing, Simon said, What? No, no, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? Speak slowly. Garfunkel says he is thankful he didn't lose his hearing like Simon. He did, however, mention that he's dealing with erectile dysfunction and was wondering if that's something he needs to see a doctor about or if it's just an age thing and he should forget about it. Probably just forget about it there, Garfunkel. Good old Garfunkel. Uh, Moving on, millions are trapped in modern-day slavery in Pakistan, making bricks bricks in forced labor. How can you help these slaves? Send the money, the company they work for millions of dollars, then they'll be able to pay their workers. That or advertise for their website on your social media platform so their business booms and they're able to pay uh, up their prices and pay their workers. That's really probably the only way is promote the company. It's crazy. Craziness, Pakistan. I think I think slavery just happened all over the world, though. So sad. So incredibly sad. Moving on. Scientists have found chlam- a chlamydia-like bacteria growing in the Great Barrier Reef. And by the Great Barrier Reef, they mean Jimmy Fa- ba- uh, Fallon's boy pussy. God, I fucked that one up. Fucked that one up hard. Just a sec. Let me grab a little sippy sippy of water. And the next one... The next one will be much better than Jimmy Fallon's boy pussy. That's actually a bit of a, a tongue twister. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to beat myself up about that one too much. That's a fucking, that's a tongue, tongue twister I've ever, I've ever seen one. Moving on, an uh, American man adopted what he thought was a Ukrainian child who turned out to be a full-grown woman with dwarfism 
who killed his entire family. This is either a heartbreaking tragedy or the funniest thing Jackass ever did with Wee Man. That'd be a, that'd be a great one to like end the show on. Wee Man gets adopted. They think he's a baby, and then he kills the whole family. Wow. Fantastic. He's doing a little Ukrainian accent. Uh, moving on, a woman had a rock in her eye for 30 years, and her doctor wouldn't listen to her to remove the rock. This should be a lesson to all male doctors on how to treat a woman in the modern era. Don't just hear a woman. Listen to her. Understand where she's coming from. And if she's nagging you with a high-pitched, annoying voice, drop her as a client immediately. This poor fellow listened to complaints for 30 years, and all he got out of it was a hit piece in the New York Post and an I told you so. It's no good. Also, how can you not get a, a rock out of your eye? Just get your ha hand in there. And take the goddamn rock out. What the fuck? What are you doing for 30 years? Also, you didn't go to see another doctor? Go to see a second doctor. Don't just blame it all on this one guy. Anyway, moving on. Sam Britton, the former Department of Energy official, has been caught stealing luggage for the third time. Sam says, you never know what you'll find in someone else's luggage, but I was hoping maybe to find a soul. That or some Activia. I've been having insane shits you would not believe. You wouldn't even believe it. I mean, that's just... I don't think you're allowed to be completely bald and wear red lipstick. I'm just saying. Completely bald and lipstick, I think I'd like to make a law against it. I don't really think, uh, you know, the government should be getting in anybody's business. You know, specifics or anything like that. But I would like that may law made just for my personal, I don't care for it. You know, do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. But either have a bald head or wear lipstick. One or the other. If you have a bald head and you'd like to wear lipstick, throw on a wig. But you're not allowed to do both. Moving on, Jada Pickett-Smith says her Cleopatra documentary flopped due to white supremacy and not because of her resting bitch face, surprisingly. That's what that's why a lot of people thought it, it flopped. But apparently it was because of, of racism, white supremacy. Also, I mean, maybe your marketing department should have done a little better. I had no idea you were doing anything anymore. I thought you were just being a bitch. I thought that was your whole life now, was being a bitch. I didn't know. Anyway. Next story, a researcher was stunned this week by the appearance of a clam he presumed extinct for millennia. The research company he works for was initially excited for the discovery. After a debriefing on the clam the man found, the company made ha, uh, had to make a new policy regarding making sarcastic statements about your wife never giving you pussy on behalf of the company. A clam he presumed extinct for millennia. Moving on, a TikTok user, Big Curvy Olivia, posted a video online showing herself struggling to get through the aisle of an airplane because of her incredibly big size. The, uh, the rest of the plane ride was comfortable. However, the man sitting next to her was smothered and suffocated to death per her usual flight. But her fat rolls have got so big she could barely hear his screams. Relaxing. Truly relaxing. I, mean, I, I love a good relaxing flight. When you just kind of lock in and you can kind of get in your zone and then you, the next thing you know, you know, you got like a half hour left in the flight and you're golden. You're golden. Moving on, orcas have sunk three boats in Europe and they are teaching others to do the same. Rumors have it the orcas have been in contact with Big Curvy Olivia to encourage her to use boats in the hope that her incredible, incredible weight would cause her to fall through the boat, creating a hole that would sink the boat and contribute to their cause. It's a good strategy, but it's a, it's a really a legendary team-up if you think about it. 
I mean, I almost, I almost wrote the joke of we are family, all my brothers, sisters, and me, if the orchestra started singing that. But, you know, I made that joke about 20,000 times in second grade. And, uh, you know, I just felt like I, I kind of spent that one, you know, I spent that one a few too many times when I was in elementary school. That's one of those jokes that you hear it for the first time and you're just like, holy shit. You know, you just laugh and laugh. You just laugh and laugh. When you're a kid, you can just laugh about whatever. Everything's funny. Moving on, a couple in the UK tried to name their son Lucifer, claiming they didn't know it was the name of Satan. Reminds me of that time in fifth grade. I tried to name my pet fish the N-word, and my mom wouldn't let me. I mean, just let people name stuff what they want to name them. Especially a fish. I mean, a fish doesn't doesn't even care. Fish has no idea. No, I didn't. I didn't actually try to. I didn't even know what the N word was until like late. I didn't know what it was. Nobody around me used it. Uh, and then I think, I guess, when I started listening to rap music, was when I heard it probably for the first, literally the first time. One time in seventh grade, we had a girl. Uh. And we were doing a geography class. It was like history class, but then the second half of the, the year was geography class. And we were going over Africa, and the country of Niger came up, and she did not know what the N-word was. And she just dropped, I mean, she dropped the N-word so hard. I mean, so hard. Anyway. She started crying. The, the teacher started like yelling at her like a lot. Uh, and she started crying. And then we had to tell the teacher like, no, no, no. She doesn't know. She has no idea what. We really don't think she has any idea what the end word is. And so we all just had to tell her like, don't say it again. Don't say it again. Don't say it again. We'll tell you after. We'll tell you after. She was like scared crying. Moving on, Mick Jagger's daughter was arrested after a drunken tirade. As much as Mick Jagger kind of seems like a woman, you would not believe how unappealing uh, his face is on a woman's body. Jagger's daughter allegedly assaulted an officer. She also assaulted my eyes with that face of hers. Jay Jagger, 51, was reportedly bailed out by her younger brother, Devaru, age 6, who walked into the police station yelling, no one messes with my sister. Also, I want to watch Paw Patrol. A six-year-old. Mick Jagger Mick Jagger of the Rolling Goddamn Stones has a... You heard it, you heard it here first, folks. A six-year-old. That means he had a child in 2017. What? He had an infant during the pandemic. He had an infant in his goddamn house during the pandemic, Mick Jagger. That's insane. Anyway, I mean, yeah, the daughter is old enough to be the grand, the, the grandma. You're not allowed, you're not allowed to have, you know, kids that spread out. You're just not. You're allowed to have kids spread out. I would say you can have a lot... 40 years. You get 40 years of baby making. Anyway, moving on. White worms fell from the sky in a small town in India. They don't know how or why this happened, but they do know these worms smell awful, and that's why everyone smells so bad, and that's also why their town's a mess. Normally, it's really nice there. White worms fell from the sky in India. I read, I actually, normally, with these articles, I read the headline and maybe a paragraph and then skim at, at the at the most I skim the rest. And uh but no this this one uh I read the entire thing because I kept thinking like they'll actually say like what's going on with the white worms falling from the sky. And there's just white worms falling from the sky in a town in India and they don't know why. They don't know why. Now, this was a couple days ago. If they now have figured it out, I will look like a big, stupid idiot. But at least at one point this week, they did not know why there were white worms falling from the sky. 
Ja Rule says he is willing to sell his quote unquote very lucrative music catalog on one condition. And if I had to guess, that one condition would be someone giving him $1,000. I don't know one Ja Rule song. Uh, the cocaine dealer who had his sentence commuted by Obama was charged in a shooting this week, which shocked everyone because he's such an upstanding member of society. Normally, cocaine dealers don't do stuff like this. The man asked Obama to save him again. Obama replied, I just found out my wife has a penis and has been coming in my ass all these years. I've got enough on my plate. Obama just started, just recently got into Reddit. He got he recently got into Reddit and 4chan and he found out a lot of crazy stuff about his wife that he didn't know. They they red pilled him. Moving on, a disgruntled Chinese worker at a Coca-Cola factory tried to steal the recipe for the soda as he was quitting his job. He went to the boss's desk and found a recipe, but when he got home and made it, he realized it was a recipe for a science fair volcano. That's no good. It's no good at all. Uh, moving on. Dwayne Dur The Rock Johnson is in hot water after a $3 billion lawsuit revealed he allegedly devised a plan, allegedly devised a plan to kidnap the wife and children of another pro wrestler. The Rock says he plans to make a movie out of the lawsuit where Kevin Hart plays the kidnapped child, Melissa McCarthy plays the kidnapped wife, and Paul Walker's rotting corpse plays his wisecracking sidekick. I mean, that's... That's one of those that that's going to put meat in the seats. I mean, I'm I'm even, I'm not even a huge rock fan, and I'm I'll go I'll go watch that. Absolutely, are you kidding me? Can you imagine Kevin Hart being the baby and saying little white little like snooty things, saying like "Get your damn hands off me, The Rock." That's what he'd probably say. Get your damn hands off me, The Rock. And then Melissa McCarthy would be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then Paul Walker, it would just be his his riding corpse. And maybe they would have like a little robot voice that was saying stuff that was like, you always were a bad driver. Or, uh, you mind putting that cigarette out? I'm almost dead over here. Stuff like that. Lastly, before before we get to our top 10 uh, list of the week, our last story. Scientists are turning dead birds into drones to spy on humans and wildlife. If you're like me, you've been wondering why a bird has been hovering outside of your window masturbating while you're getting dressed. Now you know. Hopefully that's not just me. Okay, and, and lastly... We have our top 10 list, uh, and I always dedicate it to human progression. I, that's what I believe in is, is progress and always moving forward at any cost. Um, and one thing that I've noticed is uh, that sometimes you got to get physical with people. You got to get physical with people. And if they're doing something that stops progress, nothing stops progress. You got to threaten them. And so this week, I'm naming the top 10 reasons to threaten someone physically. Number 10, they look you in the eyes. No, no, no. You're not allowed. You're not allowed, and that should be a given. By my stature, by my aura as I walk in the room, don't look in my eyes. Or I will physically threaten you. Number 9, uh, they make you watch a video that they found inspiring. Don't actually make me watch any video. Unless it's like a 10 second video. I can do a 10 second video. Anything longer than that. That I'm just sitting there holding your phone. Smiling and acting like I like it. That's what I'm doing. And that's what we're doing here. Don't show, don't show people videos. Number nine. Uh, they, they have a ponytail. And a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles t-shirt. And you overhear them saying, I've been watching Teletubbies, re recent, Teletubbies recently, and it's actually not that bad. Like, not as bad as I thought it would be. Like, 
sure some parts are a little are a little corny but like the songs were pretty catchy and the story structure gets me hooked i've been binging season nine if you hear somebody saying that you're allowed to th threaten them threaten them physically number uh, what am i on number seven they politely uh, tell you to calm down and put my knife away no 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 that's not how this works i got my knife out for a goddamn reason okay i didn't i didn't take my knife out for no reason there's a reason uh number six asking if you've seen succession no i have not and no i probably will not you know, I got about 10 seconds in it, into the first episode this week, and it was, uh, I just said, no, I'm not going to do it. I was, 10, I was 10 seconds in, and then I was just like, not feeling it, not feeling it, not going to do it, not going to dive into another binge session, session. Number five, wearing a mask in a car by themselves. Those people should have been shot from the jump. Uh, number four, not saying the Pledge of Allegiance when you enter a, a government building. I mean, where are people's decencies these days? To old Uncle Sam. Number three, asking me why I have a loaded gun. Don't ask me that, okay? I'm not going to shoot you, but I will hit you with the gun. I'll hit you with the gun, okay? Don't ask, don't ask me, all right? The Second Amendment, that's why I got a goddamn loaded gun. I always, I've always got one on me. Number two, uh, speakerphone in public. That's a pretty obvious one. And number one, not wearing green on St. Patrick's Day. I mean, if you're not wearing green on St. Patrick's Day, you're, you're crazy if you think you're not going to get a little pinch. If you think you're not going to get a little pinch up from me, a little pinch from me on St. Patrick's Day, that's number one. That's the number one reason. And that's the show. If you like it, like the video. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, subscribe. I also am on Apple Music or Apple uh, Podcasts, and I think other places where you get podcasts. And if you're on one of those places, go to YouTube and subscribe. Rampant News Podcast, I believe. You should be able to look it up pretty easily. Uh, thank you. Bye bye.